South Australia is tucked away in the Gulf St Vincent on the southern coast of Australia. Home to 1.7 million people, South Australia is a diverse region consisting of world-class wineries, the outback, the beautiful beaches and vibrant towns. The capital, Adelaide, combines exceptional food and wine with annual festivals, culture, shopping and Mediterranean-like weather. Adelaide has been voted the fifth most livable city in the world in both 2014 and 2015. Adelaide is a great place to live, study and invest. In South Australia, we are experiencing a trend that is common in, in most of the OECD countries. The population is getting older, the life expectancy is high, it's one of the highest in the world, and simultaneously there is an evolution in the epidemiology of the population. What, we are, what is happening here is that the non-communicable diseases are becoming the most important problem that the healthy system has to solve. The, the, the trick is to be flexible, to be innovative, to be creative in understanding the evolution of the need and in providing more modern solutions to the specific need. We have a history of 60 years of aged care service that have been developed to satisfy this need. The stratification of knowledge, of expertise, of technology, of, uh, of capacity, capability to satisfy this need is now something that is very important here and uh, quite unique. It's not uh, easily available elsewhere. The organizations that are helping the aged care sector are well linked to the universities. Universities are investing for medical devices technology development, for point of care diagnostics, for the evolution of the healthcare system from the methodological point of view and from the technological point of view. This type of expertise is available here because of the structure of the industry that is now delivering solutions. We've designed and developed new uh, medical device and assistive technology products which are really, uh, many of those are to try and keep people not um, just looking at clinical devices but actually devices to try and keep people at home, to keep them well, to keep them connected to their, their community, to, to sort of support them in their, their life, particularly as they get older. Our partnerships are absolutely vital. Uh, otherwise, you know, I guess as, as technology people, we, we get very excited about the technology, but, but really it's all technology push and, and we need to listen to the, the end users, we need to listen to the community, we need to listen to the aged care providers to find out where their problems are, what we can do and what te technology can do to help them, um, and then design the product to suit the need. Assistive technology enables people to perform their roles like they did previously. Um, so we can provide aids for mobility and other functional tasks so they can be independent in those roles again. We use a lot of tele-rehabilitation. Uh, we do a lot of our patients uh, have iPads when they come in and they learn to um, run their own programs and do games to, for sort of practice of cognitive exercises. And then when they go home, they take those iPads home with them and our therapists can talk to them at home. Flinders University has a lot of opportunities uh, for people who have interest in aged care. Those range from, I guess, my particular kind of area, which is in biomedical engineering. We also run courses in aged care nursing, uh, in aged care administration. Australia does have a great aged care system and we revolve around um, the CDC model, which looks at putting the patient as a priority. The, the, I find the Australian aged care excellent. The great thing about South Australia is that we have a rapidly ageing population. We have a very highly developed health system um, and we're in a period of great change at the moment where we're trying new things, trying new approaches so that we can deliver health more effectively to more people. There's a lot of inter interface between the various sectors and there's a lot of great things happening. Considering the, the strong expertise that has been developed here, considering the, the 60 years of uh, stratification of knowledge that is available here, and considering how important this knowledge is, uh, is elsewhere, when those countries where the, the emerging aged care needs are just started, it's evident that there is a great opportunity of knowledge transfer. It's very important that you have uh, 
in South Australia an organization like a hub because this type of expertise that is available is not concentrated in a unique place, it is dispersed. You can imagine architects, can you imagine technology providers, can you imagine solution providers, experts. You need a hub. The Australian Aged Care and Health Export Service is the hub that is available here to offer to the target country like China the opportunity to engage the specific expertise that you need every time through a single entry door, through a hub that will promote, that will raise visibility, raise awareness in the target country, will help the Chinese entrepreneur to be aware of, about what is available here and will help to channel into China the expertise available in South Australia.